The purpose of the fillet command is to create rounds or filleted edges on objects. I can start the fillet command by using its uh, tool panel icon where it shares a flyout with chamfer or I can type fillet from the keyboard or use its keyboard alias F. When I start the fillet command it wants me to select the first object so it goes immediately into the fillet command but looking down here on the command line I can see what its current settings are mode equals trim which means it's going to trim off any excess lines and the radius is set to 0.5. I can go ahead and start picking objects. Pick first and then the other and it creates a 0.5 radius arc at that corner and trims off the excess lines. And it also ends the command uh, for a one-time use. Now if I wanted to change the radius I would activate my fillet command and I can right click and you notice that I have a series of options. Radius is one of them. So I can specify the radius. In this case I want the radius to be 3 eighths of an inch. I'm just going to enter 3 slash 8 from the keyboard and now I'll click on this line and this line and I've created a 3 eighths inch radius at that corner. If I want to repeat my fillet command I can right click the mouse choose repeat and I'm going to change the radius back to 0.5. I can use the keyboard shortcut of R and enter and, I, and then I can enter a new radius. My lines don't have to meet. Here's a situation where I have lines uh, that don't meet, but I can still use the fillet command and you'll notice that the fillet is created at that intersection and the lines are either trimmed or extended uh, to complete the uh, radius corner. Um, my lines don't have to be parallel to each other, they can be at any angle. So here I have two lines that meet at an angle. Picking those two, it calculates the fillet. Here I have two lines that don't meet, that are angle at an angle to each other. Using my fillet command, you notice that it extends or it trims those lines to find the proper tangent radius for that corner. Now it's important to note where on the, the line or the arc that you pick is going to make a difference on how the fillet is created. For example, if I have these two lines that cross each other, if I were to choose these lines uh, to the outside, it's going to create a fillet in that direction. But if I choose the line on the other side, it will fill, create the fillet on the inside direction. So you need to look at the objects and decide which way you want the fillet to go and you have to choose accordingly. In this situation if I were to choose this line and this line it will fill it that corner. And I do have a, a limitation here. If I uh, try to fill it this corner you'll notice it refuses, says radius is too large and that's an invalid choice.